Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Donner DAG 1M 36 inch three quarter size acoustic guitar. So if you're a beginner player looking for your first acoustic guitar to practice on, or you're even an intermediate to advanced player, to sort of have a throw around guitar and not to worry about getting scuffed up when you take it out, then this video is for you. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about it. I'll play some stuff for you and then I'll give you my final thoughts. Now this video is sponsored by Donner, but they know I'm gonna give my honest thoughts. I'm just gonna tell you everything that you need to know about it so you can decide whether this is right for you or not. And by the end of the video, you'll have all of that figured out. So right off the bat, this guitar costs around 150 bucks, but Donner always has discounts. Like for example, right now while I'm making this video, I think it's around 120 bucks. It comes with a strap, tuner, a capo, strings, picks, a nice padded soft case, and all that basic beginner accessories that you're gonna need. I'll talk about all the specs of this guitar in a second, but for now, let's hear what it sounds like. So this guitar has a spruce top in a natural finish, a laminated mahogany back and sides with scalloped X bracing. This guitar is actually considered a mini dreadnought, which will give you more bass, more volume, and just an overall bigger sound. You're obviously not gonna get a bigger sound compared to a standard size guitar, but for a mini guitar, it's actually pretty loud. But for something like this, you're more so benefiting from the size, ease of mobility, and all that stuff over sound. So if you are one who's looking for a much louder guitar and you're not willing to compromise that larger sound, then maybe a mini guitar might not be for you. But like I said earlier, if you're looking for a mini guitar, you kind of know that you're not gonna get that big of a sound compared to a standard, so yeah. And also, if you're looking to buy a guitar for a younger kid, let's say between the ages of like, 10 to 13, maybe 14, then this smaller body shape might actually be better because it's gonna be easy for them to learn certain chords compared to if they're learning on a bigger guitar, it might just be harder and they might struggle a little bit more. So starting on something like this for someone younger may be much, much better. Now I will be honest here, if you're just starting out playing guitar and you're between the ages of like, maybe 14, 15, I wouldn't recommend starting on something like this. I would start on something a little bigger because if you learn to play on this and then eventually you get a bigger guitar, you're still going to struggle. So it might be better just to learn on that bigger guitar to start with. Now, besides younger beginner players, I think this is good for someone who knows their way around the guitar and is looking for something affordable that they can just bring everywhere they go if they really want to and not having to worry about scuffing it up or damaging it. It's a great travel size guitar that sounds pretty good for the price and it'll do everything you need it to do. Now, a few other things to mention about this guitar is that it has strap buttons on it. And that's actually really great because if you wanted to stand up and play, you don't have to tie your strap around the uh, headstock. Now it does stay decently in tune. I did have a few troubles with it when I first opened it, um, but that kind of normally happens anyway when I first get these guitars, when they bounce around in the FedEx truck or wherever I got it from. And that also sort of has to deal with getting a setup on a guitar like this. I'll talk about that in a second. But before I forget, I also wanted to mention it does have a pretty comfortable uh, satin finished neck. Now going back to the thing about getting this guitar set up, I think it could use a few minor adjustments, but I honestly think about that to any new guitar that I get. Now the strings that also came with it, I will change them, uh, they're just not for me. Now if you're a beginner player, don't worry about the strings, they're gonna be just fine for you. I just have my own preferences of strings now, especially on acoustic guitars since I've been playing for a little while now. So don't worry about that, the strings are not a big issue. So now what are my thoughts and who do I think this guitar is for? Like I said a thousand times in this video, it's perfect for 
a beginner player at a much younger age. But also, like I said, if you're older than that, then maybe consider getting a standard size guitar if you're just starting out, that is. And of course, also great for intermediate to advanced players who are just looking for something to mess around with that is affordable. For me personally, if I ever go out camping or going to travel with the band, this is something I would actually really love to bring around. It doesn't take up that much room. I really don't have to worry about things happening to it. If something happens, it's not the biggest of deal because it's that affordable. Now, I wouldn't go as far as to say that this is something I could play at a show. I mean, unless the show is calling for it, but this is more so for, like I just said, traveling or just sitting at my room, kind of just strumming along, doing whatever. And I think it's perfect for just that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and got a lot out of it. Let me know what your thoughts are on this guitar down in the comments below. And of course, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.